of sportsnet.ca and eric it's the age-old story craig simpson talks about it on the broadcast the lack of run support that carry price gets from the offense in front of him particularly in the stanley cup playoffs it was the narrative once again here in game three what went wrong what went wrong was the toronto maple leafs and they did a great job defensively on the montreal canadians first by asserting themselves offensively through the first two periods but i've noticed this trend with the maple leafs throughout this season they have figured out that you need to play defensive hockey to win in the playoffs. And they did that. They even fell into an 0-5 trap, much at the behest of them getting shots on net in the third period. But you look at the way they cleared Jack Campbell's crease, and he was tremendous in this game. He played a great third period, kept them up one goal, and they were able to eke out a win. Yeah, just four goals against in Jack Campbell's first three career playoff games. Cole Caulfield finally gets in the lineup for Montreal. He didn't play a lot early, Eric, but, man, he had the tying goal on his stick in the dying seconds, and it doesn't go for him. What did you think of his debut? thought he had the opening goal on his stick, too, and mm. knocked it off the post, which was the only good chance they generated on the power play. What I thought of his game uh, three is that he's going to be playing game four. Now, Tyler Toffoli, Brendan Gallagher, Josh Anderson, the offensive catalyst of the Montreal Canadiens, have to find a way to break through. Otherwise, this is going to be a short series. Yeah, and it's moving quickly here. Game four is less than 24 hours from when you and I are speaking here now. So where do you go from here? Well, you better take a page from Carey Price. He has been an absolute leader for the Canadians so far in this series. You saw him talking to the bench right before Nick Suzuki scored that goal. You see him hanging in there with a great save on Spezza. He says after the game that he believes this Canadians team is going to break through offensively. He said he faces these guys shots in practice. They're good enough to score and he believes that they will. And I think there's a confidence that he will inspire in his teammates, not only with his actions on the ice, but with his words in the press and to them in the room and on the bench. They better take a page out of his book. Yeah, no surprise. Price will get the start in back-to-back -back nights. Jack Campbell 